Hey guys, so I am back with the long awaited dumpster dive haul. So I've been teasing you guys, posting videos on Instagram and not videos, pictures on Instagram and Facebook and yeah, so I have a humongous haul. I think this one might have topped the last one. This is an accumulation of things that I've collected over the past, hmm, I guess two weeks, a week and a half or something like that. So let's dive right into it. So I guess I'm going to start with the clothes, which is what everybody has been like really like obsessing over. So all the clothes from the particular place. Uh, I put in this like pillow bag thing which I got out of the dumpster getting other things so um, I just threw everything in this bag because the bag that the clothes were in were completely ripped and I have no room oh goodness okay so before I get started most of the clothes that are here I'll show you guys like why they threw them away as far as like the defects or whatever. Okay, so the first shirt is this one here. And the reason it says is because it's a hole. And the hole, I think, on this particular shirt is right here, which is like a really tiny, minuscule hole, which you probably won't even be able to see on camera. But the hole is right here little hole you can't even really tell but it's new with the tags and everything so i'm gonna wash and wear that so i'm just gonna make a pile um the next things are these pajama pants which i can't fit these so i'm gonna give these to my little cousin she said she wanted them the only thing that was wrong with these is that it has like this like dirt stain in the crotch which i'm sure you'll be able to wash that out as well. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. Next is this t-shirt. It's a medium size. And the reason they threw it out is because it has a stain. And next is this cute little cardigan. And the only thing was wrong with this was a hole, which there is a hole right here. And that is it. Other than that, I can pretty much wear this. It's my size and everything, so yes for that. <gasps> Whoops. Next is, what is this? This is like blouse, which looks like this. And this has a hole in the front somewhere which I don't know, I can't find it, but this is the shirt right here. Um, Next is this coat, which I'll probably donate this because it is a um, medium. And I really don't like this style of coat anyway, but this is the coat. And what was wrong with it? Missing the zipper. Which I don't think it's a really big deal. But yeah, I'm probably going to donate that. Oops. Um, next is these um, pants. Like some work pants. I think they're too big for me anyway. Yeah, they're too big for me anyway. But they are size 18. And what was wrong with these? It says they're dirty and they've been worn that it's a hole somewhere which to be honest I don't see any kind of holes or anything it's nothing basically wrong with these pants they're practically brand new oops my bad right here which is busted in the inseam but you can easily stitch that up that's like uh, not a big big Excuse me, I said not a big idea. That's not a big issue. You can definitely sew anything up that's been broken on the inseam. But I don't wear a size 18. So I'm going to have to see what I can do with these. But those are those. Um, 
these kid pants which these have a hole in them and they're worn I think these were pretty bad yeah I mean I guess they're not bad but they are for a kid because it's not that much material to really hide but that's the hole on that so eh. um and next are pants all of these happen to be the size that my boyfriend needed all of them were ripped but he's gonna wear these particular ones to work because he works outside anyway so he likes to wear jeans especially when it gets cold so um, this is the rip part, obviously, but he can fit all of these. So he's going to wear those. And more jeans for him to wear, which they were ripped like that right here. But again, he can fit these. Another pair of jeans. Same size. I guess the guy must have brought all the brought all of these back or something. I don't know. And this jacket, which I'm definitely gonna donate. It's like a 4X or something. It's too big for anybody to wear. Yeah, it's like a 3X. And it's really big, so we're not gonna, you know, wear that. And the next thing is these pants. And they're maternity pants. And what size are they? I don't know. They might be like a 16 or something. They have like a little stain on the pocket. <laughs> like right there. Yuck. But I'm going to wash those too. So I guess that's why they threw these. Yeah, it says worn. And there's a stain, so gonna wash those and the last clothing item is this um, shirt right here which it has a hole in the shoulder which we looked at it and I don't think it was that bad it was just like right here so that's still wearable and my mom sews so she knows how to Fix this stuff up and this was also in there it's a perfume atomizer I don't know if anybody I don't think anybody's ever used this so I think it's practically brand new I don't know why they threw it away it might have been because the packaging is open but what this is is you can put your perfume in it and make it a travel size perfume carry your, you can carry your favorite perfume anywhere with you and then the last thing was this um, beanie ball and it's the Mike Wazowski Monster Tie Ball. And it has a hole in the back, which can easily be sewn up. But I'm probably just going to toss this away somewhere. And that's pretty much it for the clothes. Shoes too. So, found a pair of shoes. My first pair of shoes. So excited. Okay. So now, on to... GameStop. I'll do GameStop next. So I have this big bag of stuff from GameStop. And I have a, some games in most just cases because a lot of the games, they're pretty much uh, usable and can be used. But sometimes the box is really like torn up. So I'll generally just keep the boxes. And if I need to, I'll switch out the case. Um, but here's a box from Banfuse, Rock of Legends, PlayStation 3. Um, this is just the Xbox box. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is just the box, I think. Yeah, it's just the box. And some empty boxes, which these, honestly, I'm going to toss because they don't even have the plastic lining on them the store box and I grabbed some of these because I um, am going to try and sell these on eBay because they said that usually people look to complete their collection as far as having like the um, sheet that goes inside so I have the Rock Band 3 PlayStation 4 Diablo NBA 2K14 
um, the sleeve for the Amazing Spider-Man for PlayStation 3. Borderland, the pre-sequel sleeve. Fallout New Vegas. Um, the Hobbit sleeve. At least I think. I don't know what that is. And then a few other... Well, these are all Batman and Sunset Overdrive sleeves. And the Xbox One Evil Within holographic um, sleeve. And the rest of these, I think, are the games. I think. Oh, wait, no. There's a few boxes still left in here. Okay, so some people like to buy just the boxes that are complete with the manual and stuff to complete their collection. And this is the Narnia Lion Witch in the Wardrobe for DS. Club Penguin, and people use the Club Penguin because you could get like the Club Penguin points. See, guys, I've been doing my research like a mad woman, but everything is in there. And then the Super Mario Brothers um, case. And the Connect Sports case. I think I just grabbed this because it looks cool. Well, actually, when I grabbed it, it felt like it was a game inside. So that is why I grabbed it. Okay, so I think the rest of these are video games. Um, but before I get started with those, here are some more sleeves. This is Bash Party for the Wii. The Crew for PlayStation 4. And a Brink sleeve for Xbox 360. So that's, those are those. Okay, so I found these games. Uh, this one is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07, which looks like that. And the disc is in here, and it looks pretty brand new. It's just some dust on it, honestly. And it's complete. It has the manual and everything in it. And, uh... I was about to say NBA. Madden 09 for PlayStation 3. Has the manual and the game. And the game looks pretty brand new. It just has a few um, specks of dust. This is MLB 09 The Show. It's a baseball game. And... This just has dust on it. I'm assuming maybe these are games that didn't sell or something. I don't know. And it has the manual in it. Kill Zone 2. Which this is the first. I showed you guys this in the last video, but I just put them all together so I wouldn't lose them. But that's Kill Zone 2. Fallout New Vegas. This is going to be a long video. And it's completed with the manual and everything. This is Star Wars 3. And I showed you this in the last game. I think it has the ring of death around it. And Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. I love this game. I'm just, I might keep this game for myself. I'm just looking for the drum set and the guitar. I had it. Had the whole set. My dad threw it away. And now those things are pretty much valuable. But whatever. Also from there, I found this case with the um, screen protector and everything. This is for the iPhone 4. And it has the case and the protector still in the... Or the protector might be done. It might just be the case. I think it's just the case. I don't think this has a protector. I don't know. But it has a case. It's for iPhone 4. This lanyard, because I know people like these. If I can get it untangled. It's for the Battlefield 4, and it's a lanyard you can get from GameStop. And amongst these tangled cords are for the DS. I don't know which DS, if it's for the DS XL, but I know it's not for the DS Lite because I tried it. Because in another haul, I got one of those for a really good price. And I wanted to show you guys, but I need a charger. Um, I found like practically a brand new iPhone cable for the older iPhone. 
and two DS game cases. Okay, so that's that. Okay, um, what is next? What am I? Okay, next is this commercial grade portable and folding dual bar adjusting um, garment rack, which I don't know if I'll be able to hold this up or not. But it's super heavy, and that's what it looks like. Okay. So that's that. I love garment racks, so that's going to be put to good use. Okay, so the next thing is obviously, and this time I only got candles, and they were broken, but um, what I did, because I got more candles too from a different location, is just peel the glass off and just set the candle in a, like, a glass tray that I found on the last haul and burn the candles that way but this one is fresh balsam which i think i have another one of those and this one that is broken to shreds is cinnamon cupcake i'm tired of getting cut by glass i stepped on a piece from something that i broke the other day and then this is a body lotion and it's uh, lavender vanilla and it's filled to about right here so that's that and usually with Bath and Body Works they always try and take the tops off of everything and literally squeeze everything out so that I guess people cannot go back I'm, I'm, a, I'm, uh, I'm assuming because they, they do that because they don't want any employees coming back to take anything out of the dumpster but whatever okay and from um, GameStop, this poster, I don't know what the poster is of, but I guess I shall open it, so maybe somebody could tell me, but it's sealed, but I don't, I don't know what it is. I'll open it later. Okay, um, next is this clock. And it says it was broken. Customer said numbers won't show up. And this is, it doesn't have a picture, but the Sharp Atomic Wall Clock. And guys, the numbers show up because I put batteries in it. And this is what the clock looks like. This isn't set right. It's literally eight in the morning. But this clock works perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do, like all the home good stuff, I'm definitely going to save that. So when I move, because I'll be moving soon. So I just have a box that everything that I accumulate, I'll be um, putting in a box to save for when I get home. Okay, what is this? A wireless outdoor sensor. I don't know what this is for, but it was in the box. So I'll have to read more into that. Generally, when I get stuff... I don't usually play with it until after I show you guys. <sighs> yeah. Some of it though, because I want to see if it works before I keep it. Um, next, which I'm super excited about, um, is the soda stream. So this was in the box and the box is all messed up because it rained today. I mean, not today. It rained the day that I decided to go. And it's the soda stream play starter kit snap lock whatever blah, 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 blah. okay so um this is it and the description says um return did not like product at all so they threw it away practically brand new because the customer did not like the product at all so basically there was nothing wrong with it but this is the actual so and I've always wanted one of these because I wanted to see if it really worked but this is it which looks like this and I'm just gonna have to find I think direct oh, I think directions might come with it with it 
have is that's the soda stream. And let me show you the stuff that came with it. Um, so you do get directions. Okay. So it does come with directions. And it also came with soda mix. So I get six flavors. So I think I will do like a, a video where I show you guys like how to use this or how it tastes. Like give you guys my reaction. So it came with the soda. Um, and the only thing that's missing is the... Um, the carbonator so the thing that actually makes the bubbles is missing but that's cool I'm sure I can find that somewhere but this is the box that you'll bottle I mean bottle that you'll put your soda in so that's that and it has a screw on a screw off top so I'm really excited about that um Try to get some trash out of the way stuff that I know that I'll have to take to the trash. Um, next is this bright light pillow, which I don't know if it works, but the pillow is in the box. So this I'll probably give to Asia, but I'll see as far as the directions or whatever what's going on with it. Found this calendar with puppies on it. I'll probably give this to my sister because she likes dogs. I like dogs too, but I like little dogs. I don't, I'm not a fan of big dogs. So I'll probably give her that. Um, next, I found four Keurig machines. Out of the four, I think either, I, I think two worked out of the four, I think. But I'll just enter a clip in of those machines because I'm not gonna pick, because they're pretty heavy. I'm not gonna pick all of those up to show you guys. Um, but I tested them out when I got here just to make sure which ones I'd have to kind of toss out because they were practically pretty useless and which ones I would keep. Um, next I found this little art set which I'll probably give to Asia. It has a sketch tablet and four, five pencils. Five pencils and it has an eraser. Actually, excuse me. I don't know if it's supposed to come with all these pencils or they just threw them in here. I don't know if they mean. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So each pencil means something. So each pencil has a specific thickness. You have little pencils with little tips and big tips. You guys probably don't give a flying fart. And it also comes with a pencil sharpener. And you guys remember these erasers that came in the art kits that your parents used to get you. And that's what came in that, which will probably go to her. Oh, here's the top to the atomizer, which, again, I think the atomizer, I don't think it was anything wrong with it. I think it was because it was open, probably. Um, next, I'm going to start that. I found, wow, there's nothing in that. Um, pants, you guys know I'm back in school now. So obviously I threw this away because they could only find one of the pen. I mean one of the pens were missing. Um, some toothbrush um, caps. Some puff balls, which I'll put in my art drawer. Some foam stickers. Guys, be on the lookout for Christmas stuff when you go um, dumpster diving because Christmas stuff usually like goes. Um, this is a blue candle. Obviously, I don't know if it's supposed to be M&M flavor, but it doesn't smell like chocolate. It actually smells like blueberries, but it has a picture of the blue M&M on the front. Go figure. Um, these little gift bags, these Santa gift bags, which I'll have to put away. Um, more pins. This little cheapo speaker, which sucks I haven't tried it myself but my sister has had one from there cards now we are a card playing family so cards are a must because we have company or family over my mom always ends up going to buy new cards um this candle right here smells good these tool things I don't I don't know if these are I think these are wire cutters actually I think these are wire cutters but 
Those are for my boyfriend. Another plain pack of cards. A um, incense holder, which I need these because I had incense. But after I got home, I realized that my friends had stole my incense. So now I don't have any. Um, also, I found these hangers right here. I found like four baskets. And one of the carrots were, was in there. So you guys got to see that one. Um, Hello Kitty pins. It was three in here, but Asia took one. It was a green one. And, excuse me, what was left is the red one and blue one was missing the Hello Kitty. Which I'm not a big fan of Hello Kitty, but I grabbed them because I thought they were cute. Um, and here is candles. From Bath and Body Works, which are broken. This one is Cranberry Bellini. And this one is Hot Buttered Rum, which is broken. But like I said, I'll put them in like a glass. And all of these pieces go to those Keurig machines. I, just, I pretty much just grabbed like all of the pieces that I thought would work for that. This is a, I think it was a tumbler cup, but. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I think I'll be able to use it as just a regular cup because it doesn't look like it's damaged the actual cup. Um, I found this box of like old cords and a phone. Um, you like these little cords like this? Like we're always looking for these, so I am going to start a um, box or something with cords because we can never keep up with cords around here and it was one particular, whoops one particular cord that I was looking for for something I had found at the thrift store so I grabbed this whole box for like a couple cords but whatever um the next thing I found was this big roll which I should have mentioned when I did the GameStop thing this big roll of Call of Duty ghost posters and I have tons and tons of these so I'll probably sell these to be honest but I have a whole lot of these so that's the poster okay so that's that um I'm sorry I keep saying um a lot. It's so much and I don't know. Okay. Uh, found these freezer bags. I found so many freezer bags. They just throw them out because, and you might recognize this brand. They throw them out because they're, they've are they been open or accidentally open. And I use freezer bags often. Some hair elastics like to put around your head. Found these containers right here. Still had the caps and snaps on them. This book reader. I just wanted to show you guys this. I don't want this because the light literally doesn't work good at all. Where is the light? How do you turn this on? Oh, I guess it stopped working. So maybe that's why the light didn't work because it was like about to die. Found the, the, not the. I found this Doc McStuffins journal. And a flower. I don't know why I kept the flower. Okay. Next. Oh my god. Okay. So next is this basket. I found another one of these mesh, ba mesh baskets. It does have a has. It does have a stain, but I um use um. Uh, Lysol to spray the whole thing, but this is just gonna be for my boyfriend's work clothes, so we can keep up with those. The next thing I found was this indoor, not indoor, but obviously indoor, this floor lamp. And the complaint was um, that it didn't work, like the dimmer wouldn't work, so I guess it just doesn't dim, but it probably holds the light, so I'm gonna use it. Um, next in this bag here, I found this in a dumpster. 
so I use it as my own bag, which happens often. These gloves, I guess I'm going to give these to Asia. She might like them. Um, this nail polish, I'm going to give to her. These headphones, which were intact this time, like, they actually work. Because the kids around here, oh my God, with these iPods and stuff, they cannot keep up with their headphones. And they think that because when they lose theirs, they can come and take ours. Like me and my boyfriend and my mom no longer have chargers or, no, the original chargers or cords that came with our phones. So, yeah. Um, I found these gloves. I don't know if she'll want these or not, but found these gloves. And these are the touch gloves, so you can um, have the gloves on and touch your phone. Found these headphones. This is a whole lot of stuff. So, these headphones, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put this as I'm talking to you. Give me a second. Okay, so headphones. Um, this power stick right here. It's a purple one. I find these power sticks every time. I found several, several, several of these phone cases right here. So, this one is for... The Galaxy, what is this, 4? This is for the Galaxy 4. What is Roman number 4? 5 is V, 6. Okay, yeah. Um, found for the Galaxy 4. This one is for the, what are you? I don't know. It, um, oh, for the Galaxy S3. Same Galaxy S3, Galaxy S3, Galaxy S3, some earrings, more headphones, which I think I'm going to keep all of these headphones. I'm a headphone junkie. Even though I have Beats and nothing at this point, I guess, that I know of can top them. So anything else that I try, I guess, especially that's really cheap. It's probably not going to compare, but these are the headphones. It's like a classic headphone. They look like the old school box headphones, and I'm going to have to try those out. These I did not try out yet, so yeah. Sock that goes with many other socks. An eyeshadow palette, which I'll give to my cousin Omni. More of these storage bags. I have the gallon bags, I think is what they're called. I guess. Yeah. The gallon bags and the regular bags. Some cleaning gloves, which come in handy because, yeah. This liner, I grabbed this because I'm going to put this inside of my makeup drawer. It's, it keeps your stuff from slipping and sliding. Slipping and sliding. And this is for the Galaxy 4. Which looks like that. And that's all that's in that bag. And continuing with this one. Another Galaxy 3 case. This hot, cold, natural, moist heating pack. This remote control that goes to this airplane that I found. And I haven't had time to see if it worked or not. And excuse me on the making videos late. I am now a full-time college student. So it has been hectic doing tests and homework and all of that. But I'm trying to get these videos out. But today, obviously, I'm going to pump a lot out. Um, but this is the airplane I found. And this is the remote that goes to it. I'm going to have to see if it works or not. This is literally going to be an hour long video. Um, next is this Just My Size Knee High. Uh, Sarah V Sunscreen. Bobby Pins, which you can never go... Oh my God. And these are the um, really big bobby pins. I love these. Um, the adapter for the airplane, a Virginia Tech 
charger for the iPhone. And more replacement um, wings and the actual antenna for the remote control. And two bottles of brand new makeup remover. So that's all that was there. And I think that is it for everything that I have actually. No, it is not. Okay, so this is the last bag really. Um, found this could uh, take cassette um tape thing that you use to like if you have a tape player in your car you can hook it up to your phone and it'll play the music this thing i love these i used to have one in my car until i broke my tape player um another galaxy 3 case socks which i'm super excited about brand new socks and they're by sugar who they also have a makeup brand um these little sock shoe things i'm gonna give to asia a iPad case, which will go to my iPad, which the only thing that was messed up was this part, but I have that piece. Um, I don't know what this is. I guess this goes to an iPhone, but I don't have the back piece for it. Headphones and, yeah, cheap headphones. The really cheap guys. A megaphone that changes your voice. You can, whoops, change. Ooh. Anyway, a megaphone to change your voice, which I don't know why I kept that. Um, green headphones. Um, the uh, what is this? What is this? A thing to plug in your car to plug and charge. Yeah, to charge your phone. More of these socks. And this little wallet phone case thing, which I'll give to Asia, and I guess she can do as she pleases with it. And more socks, and one more case, which is for the Galaxy 4. So that is everything, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. Let me know down below your thoughts, comments, concerns, whatever. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos and um, I guess I'll try to get one up every week or so because this has become a really fun hobby for me. Honestly, I mean, who doesn't want free stuff, first of all? Second of all, you're helping with the environment by getting all of this stuff out of the landfill etc also i usually donate the stuff that i don't use so you're helping other people yeah helping a cause and having fun and yeah and it's good exercise especially if you gotta hoist yourself up to um, grab something out of the dumpster but um yeah that's pretty much it so again thank you guys for watching and if you found this video useful helpful or entertaining in any type of way then don't forget to thumbs up and comment down below and until next time See you guys later. Bye.